Hi guys, I'm Frank, your Tibet travel guru from Tibet Vista. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about the top things you should know about Tibet train journey. Of all the modern means to travel to Tibet, nothing can beat the Tibet train, also known as Qinghai Tibet Railway. Ever since its first service in July 1st, 2006, Tibet train has remained the most popular way for international tourists to visit Tibet, and there are good reasons behind. Compared with the flights to Tibet, Tibet train is much more punctual and reliable. Rarely do you see the delay of a Tibet train due to the heavy rain or mechanical failure. Cost efficiency is another major reason why so many travelers prefer such tourist-friendly way to reach Tibet. Take traveling from Beijing to Lhasa for example, the Tibet train of the hot sleeper seat only costs about 720 Chinese yuan or over 107 US dollar, while the flight business class will sit you back 3,260 Chinese yuan or 487 US dollar. However, the real charm of Tibet train is the incredible window view you enjoy along the way, especially from Gormu to Lhasa section. Just imagine yourself sitting back comfortably beside the train window and enjoy the epic vista of snow-kipped peaks and glittering alpine lakes and grieving yachts dotted on massive grassland on Tibetan plateau flashing past. Gee, it gives you real sense of travel and lifetime experience. And more importantly, instead of having a drastic ascent to the towering Tibetan plateau, taking Tibet train to Lhasa can give you better acclimatization. With building oxygen supply system in a train cabin, it's quite safe for the epic ride. Now, here comes to the next question. Where should I board the train to Tibet? Currently, you can take Tibet train from major provincial cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Chengdu, Chongqing, Xi'an, and Xining to Lhasa. However, if you're pressed for time and still want to enjoy the highlights of Tibet train journey, then boarding the Xining to Lhasa train is your best option. It's the shortest train journey with only 21 hours travel, yet with the best scenery you can get. So, what about the life on board? Equipped with this smart oxygen supply system, oxygen will be pumped into the train cabin to ensure a comfortable ride as the train climbs through the high passes like Tangula station. There is a dining car that offers traditional Chinese dishes during three meals. And if you want simpler food, food trolley pulled by the staff sells boxed meals, snacks, and soft drinks during the meal times. Gazing at changing view of Tibetan Plateau, reading your novels, or chatting with other passengers, or simply listening to the music on your iPhone, or watching TV in a soft sleeper cabin, etc., you will find the train journey gone like a flash. In addition, Boiled water dispenser and sink for washing, and both Western and Chinese toilets are also available. For travelers with disability, special toilets can also be found. However, there's no showering facilities in the train. Having said so much, how to book your Tibet train ticket? Well, if you can read Chinese and have a Chinese bank account, and know how to use apps like WeChat or Alipay in mainland China, you may do it yourself online. However, in reality, it's hard for tourists to get Tibet train ticket during the high season of Tibet travel, let's say from April to August, and the summer break, and other major Chinese festivals, etc. So, the best way is to book your Tibet train journey from us, the reliable Tibet travel agency. In this case, not only can your Tibet train ticket be secured, but also we can plan your Tibet tour together. You are free from much hassle, so why not? Thanks for watching. Hopefully, now you get a clear idea of your Tibet train journey for your memorable Tibet travel experience. And Frank, your Tibet travel guru from Tibet Vista. To your next episode, see you.